Who did this to you? Who hurt you? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we collect and create all things cute. I'm the Pastel Prince and in today's video, as you can see in front of me, I was able to get my hands on the three other girls in the Bratz pack. I'm so excited to have these girls. I actually went doll hunting like myself as opposed to like buying them online, you know? Because I just love like the thrill of doll hunting and it's just so exciting when you like find it in store, you know, and you like, you just grab it and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's a different experience than buying it online. It's like, I like the, the chances of me not potentially getting it. Um, but anyway, I know you guys have probably seen these like 10 million times, uh, on the internet already because they are rolling out into like stores and they're on target.com now. So we won't actually go into like a full in-depth, like unboxing and review, but I did want to share my experience, like unboxing them and my initial reactions to them. So I'm sure you're probably wondering what the heck is this? <laughs> and this is actually my friend's childhood Bratz doll collection. There's, I think there's probably like 10 or so dolls in here. I did actually already open it, so it won't be like a surprise or anything, but this is so exciting, you guys, because these are like the original Bratz dolls. Again, if you wanted to see my little story of Bratz as a kid and me unboxing and reviewing Yasmin here. You can go ahead and take a look at that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and stick around and we'll get all these girls out of the boxes. Here they are all out of their boxes, you guys. And oh my God, this image right here just gives me so much joy to have all of the original girls together. I know it's not the original dolls, but the re-releases of the originals is just Ugh, it's such an amazing image. Ugh, I keep smiling so big because I'm so happy right now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Chloe first. I know people have been saying that she has droopy eyes. I honestly can't tell. I think, I think that might be the case with this girl. I did get two Chloes and they both have the same eyes. So I'm not sure if it's just like the majority of them have the droopy eye situation or if that's just how they're supposed to be. I haven't really seen any without the droopy eyes. Anyway, if she does have droopy eyes and you recognize it, let me know down below. But yes, here she is up close. I have to say Chloe is probably my least favorite of the Bratz pack. Not that I don't like her. I actually really do like her. Um, she's just, yeah, she's just not my favorite. So let's go ahead and go over Sasha next. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so obsessed with Sasha. She is definitely one of my favorites. I just, I love a good melanated queen and I think her makeup is so stunning. Her expression is really nice. Um, she also has this like really pretty pinkish blush that I think they did such a nice job with. I love that her um, lipstick is actually a little bit more of like a nude color. I just think she's so stunning. Like this is what I think when I think Bratz doll. Just like the eye shape, the colors, just total baddie. Now taking a look at Jade up close, she I think is tied for number one spot with Sasha. Her and Sasha are just so gorgeous and I feel like they really stand out. Again, I love all four girls and they're all classic and iconic in their own ways, but yeah, Jade and Sasha, just nobody does it like them. <laughs> like, oh my god, Jade's bangs. Look at these bangs. They're so perfect. Like, Violet Willow could never. <laughs> I'm joking. But honestly, like, Jade's bangs are so well done. And, like, as much as I love Rainbow High, every single Violet doll that I've seen is busted in the bang area. <laughs> um, like, I actually ripped my bangs out of my Violet because I just was not happy with them. But yeah, Jade does not have that problem whatsoever. All right, now that we've looked at all of the newest girls, let's go ahead and get into some of the oldest girls. This should be really interesting. All right, you guys, it has been a minute since we've unboxed these girls. It's been a couple of days for me, but for you guys, I'm sure it's been a matter of seconds. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the briefcase and see all of what's inside here. Uh, now, warning, if doll nudity disturbs you, all these dolls are nude, so <laughs> please click away. Um, and I apologize, but they're just, they, they're not clothed yet. So 
All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, you guys, there's a lot going on. So I've actually already seen everybody who's in here, um, but I thought it'd be cool to just like kind of go through with you guys. So let's see who we have first. And oh my gosh, I saw her before when I first went through it with my friend and she is so pretty. She's a Yasmin. Um, I don't know who she is exactly quite yet or what line she's from, but I'm gonna be doing some research and see exactly where all of these girls are from. Um, but I just wanted to show you the initial like unboxing. Now, we also have a few boys in here as well. So I believe this is Dylan. We have Dylan. Some of these guys are kind of beat up, but it's okay. Like I said, this is like a total children's um, collection. So it's fine. We'll have some fun like restoring and maybe doing some like customizing even. That'll be really cool. Um, this girl, I have no idea who she is. She's really pretty though. She has like purple eyes and purple makeup, eye makeup. She looks like she's from probably like one of the winter, what is it called? Winter Wonderland? I don't know what it's called, but one of the winter collections because she looks very like icy and frosty. Here we have a Jade. Ugh, I just love Jade so much. She's definitely one of my fave girls. Uh, this poor girl though, as you can see, she was given kind of a little mullet moment. And I know the mullet is kind of back, but uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to do some major like construction to restore her, but she is really pretty. She does have a little lip chip though. Um, so we'll see what we can do about that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, we have a Megan, which I love Megan so much. She's so pretty with her beautiful red hair needs a lot of work um but yeah she's so pretty to me i love her like neutral makeup and then that deep lip oh my god i'm living for her right now she's so gorgeous Ugh, she's so pretty okay let's do i believe this is kobe another boy his hair is decently intact i feel like we could you know finesse it a little bit to make it back to normal oh my gosh you guys so this is probably my like least favorite in this um collection just because i don't know what happened with her face but she's giving me like i don't know she's giving me like weird botched like plastic surgery vibes does anybody else see that or is it just me and she just looks like she has like a total like fake tan. So I don't know, there's something weird going on. Uh, this is Yasmin and I'm just like, Yasmin, girl, what happened to you? What, who did this to you? Who hurt you? <laughs> I mean, her hair, obviously, it, again, she's like old, but I'm just talking about her actual mold and her makeup and like skin tone. I don't know, she's just really interesting to me. Um, this Yasmin as well, like, She's not as bad as that one, but she's just, there's just something off about her. Like, okay, let's compare her to Miss Beautiful, like Ariana Grande, Yasmin. Tell me, how, first of all, tell me how she got green eyes. Second of all, like, what? I don't, I don't understand, um, but we'll find out exactly who she is and if she was supposed to look like this. Um, but yeah, poor Yasmin. They they really did her dirty with this with this design. Oh my God! Speaking of did <laughs> speaking of did her dirty. I mean, did him dirty. We have poor. Wait, what's his name again? Cameron. We have poor Cameron here. Look at this poor guy. Oh my gosh. They really just went in and like Texas Chainsaw massacred his hair. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so sad. And then his poor hand was like chewed off by pro I don't know if it was a dog or my friend or her sister. And oh no, it looks like it was probably like an animal because then we have his other arm. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Cameron. Um, we'll see what we can do about him. I don't know how much we'll be able to do, but we'll see. Um... Who is this? 
Anybody who's like a, a more tan skin tone and doesn't have a mole, I just have no idea who they are. I know the main four girls, Megan and the boys, and that's it. So we'll have to find out exactly who she is. She's so pretty though. Look at her eye color. There we go. Yeah, look at her eye color, you guys. It's like a, I mean, again, my favorite color. It's like a minty blue green color and it's so bright and pretty against her like skin tone. She's so gorgeous. I can't wait to find out who she is. And then we have Miss Deep Red Lip and she has like a lot more of a pale skin tone but she's really pretty as well i really like her makeup it's like simple but then that really bold deep red lip just kind of ties it together Ugh, gorgeous and then we do have all of this just mountain of like accessories and a bunch of shoes so i'm hoping you know i i feel like probably not many of these girls and boys are complete but what I'm gonna do now off camera is do a little bit of research and find out exactly what line all of these are from um, and hopefully like piece together their pieces basically and we'll see what we have. Okay guys, after some extensive research, I was able to find, per I think I found all of them and exactly like what lines they go to. Unfortunately, I don't think any of them are quite complete, um, but I mean, Obviously, it's a collection from my friend when she was a child, so I didn't expect any of them to have all their pieces. But some of them have, like, a decent amount of stuff that has been preserved. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're actually able to find most of Cameron's pieces, and he is actually really cute all put together. So, yeah, we have his little shirt, even his underlayer, his tank top. Cameron totally gives me like Justin Timberlake early in sync vibes and if you guys were not alive at that point I'm so sorry because that was anybody who was around during that time and like my age that was I think everyone's sexual awakening <laughs> um but yeah he's definitely giving me like JT in sync vibes we're also able to find his little sports tee with the number 15 on it his cute little cargo shorts. Don't mind my nails, they're a little messed up. I did them the other day when I first shot the first half of this video and I did them myself. So yeah, they didn't stay very preserved. So yeah, we are still missing a few items from him. Out of the boys, poor Dylan, he is the one that is the least complete. He doesn't have any feet. <laughs> but we were able to find two of his bottoms and then his shirt. So there's Dylan. He has his little pants with the chain, which I think is a really cute detail. And then we do have his shorts, cargo shorts, and the belt is actually intact, which is a separate piece. Honestly, MGA giving us these details back in the day and they haven't stopped since. I love MGA for that. All right, next we have Kobe, who is almost completely intact. We were able to find pretty much everything. So we have his little beanie, uh, his puka shell necklace, which, oh my God, is so indicative of that time. And then his cute long sleeve polo, his little side satchel, which again is functional. Uh, his kind of medium wash denim, and then his really cute navy blue buckle strap shoes aside from that he does have his little raglan t-shirt we had one sandal <laughs> couldn't find the other one and then he also has cargo shorts with a detachable belt and he also has his gray sweater but yeah so that's it for the three boys uh i'm actually really happy that i was able to find most of their pieces. All right, now on to the girls. First we have Strut It Jade, and we were able to find a full outfit for her. So she has her little t-shirt with the doll on it, which is kind of creepy. Um, she has her purple tutu, and then these weird blue boots. And then she also had these side stripe sporty pants. 
So we have strutted Yasmin as well, which poor girl, we weren't able to find her top or her shoes, but she did come with these pants as well as this little brown skirt here, which I really like this skirt, it's cute. And these pants too, like the little, the details on the front of the pant are actually really nice. They're stitched in little X's and then it has the fringe on the sides, which is really pretty. Next, you guys, probably my least favorite out of this whole box. I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I love her outfit and the concept. It's just this face, you guys. I really can't get past it. But we have Slumber Party Yasmin. Like, in what world is this Yasmin? I have never. <laughs> but yeah, she has her cute pink robe with the fluffy cuff and the detail around the collar and then these slippers you guys they're so cute they're like supposed to be a little animal again they are about 20 years old so they've collected a little bit of dust and dirt but still very cute so she also came with this really cute froggy plush i don't know if my camera's gonna focus on that okay there we go kind of see it <laughs> that's really cute and then she has a matching top which is probably like what she's gonna sleep in um, for the bottoms that she's wearing right now. She also has this little round suitcase, which I'm sure she carries her like overnight clothes in, has a little tiara on it. My camera is freaking out right now. All right, moving on. <laughs> so next we have one of my favorites, Miss Lady of the Night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Miss Fabulous Bratz, Yasmin. She is so pretty, you guys. I love her. You kind of already saw her face earlier. But yeah, she has this really luscious uh, fur coat. It's purple. She has this little black velvet halter top. And then she has these kind of like snake print with fringe on the bottom. And then her strappy purple heels, which are really pretty. Uh, we do have pieces from her second outfit, which <laughs> this looks crazy but it's this little skirt there we go and then she had one heel from her second outfit which unfortunate but that's fine okay i think that was the last yasmin um let's do we could do megan next i am so obsessed with her you guys she's so pretty sorry we weren't able to find any of her tops except for the jacket so she's freeing the nip right now that's totally fine Okay, and I kind of saved the best for last. So we do have three Danas. I didn't know who she was. She was like the one that confused me the most because I didn't know Dana was a thing. Here we have Sunkiss Summer Dana. I love her so much. She's so cute. She actually is the only one that came with bare feet. Love that. She also has her little Hawaii t-shirt. Really cute minty color to match her eyes. She has this little crochet detail bag, which is really pretty. One thing I will say about this Dana though, like how are these the same girl? <laughs> how on earth? I know everyone has like a summer shade and a winter shade, but that is a huge difference. I mean, maybe she got a spray tan or something, but she went from like the palest girl to the most like medium tone girl. I love them both separately, but I, I just, I don't quite understand how she did it. What's your secret, Dana? I need it, because your girl's pale. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, you guys, we have Wintertime Wonderland Dana, and she's probably one of the most complete girls that was in that box. She has such a cute outfit, and she has so many, like, I looked up you guys can probably see the picture here, but she actually has so many pieces that come with her. And I'm like, dang, these girls must have been pretty pricey because they have so much. Like she comes with this huge scarf. She has two bags, one little backpack, and then her side bag. I don't really know what this is. Maybe it's like a hand warmer. She has another turtleneck and then this other second jacket. But yeah, she's so pretty. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for unboxing all of these with me. It was really cool to see 
kind of the newest girls as well as some of the oldest girls in the Bratz line. Go ahead and let me know who was your favorite. For me personally, I think it's gonna be these three girls right here in the middle, especially Megan. Uh, something about her, she just really does it for me, especially her red hair. I just feel like she's so unique. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you next time. Bye!